I honestly just want to spend my entire day in this old square. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to go explore. I might come back here tomorrow, actually, and like get some lunch in this area because it's just, yeah, it's amazing. Anyway, let's go walk somewhere else. I read online there's quite a lot of art around this city. It's quite cool just to see like these random pieces of art with the amazing like historical architecture in the background. This is a music venue by the river. Look how stunning this building is. And we've got statues and do you know what? I feel like I'm in Alice in Wonderland or something. Just with like the scenery and the weather. And then I'm gonna take you guys. Look, it's a castle. Oh my gosh. I actually just feel like I'm not even in real life right now. This is just so cute. You are missing out on Prague if you've not been to Prague. I feel like it's such an overlooked European destination. And I'm not just saying it because my family are from here. Honestly, like I did not realize or remember how amazing this place is. I mean, it helps at the with the blue skies. I feel like anywhere looks amazing with blue skies, but look. Thing is, nothing will ever look as amazing on camera as it does in real life. But the vibes here are immaculate, just trust me on that. <laughs> Along the river, there's loads of little places you can just sit by and have a drink. And I'm very tempted. That bridge right there is Charles Bridge, a really famous bridge in Prague. So I'm gonna circle back and like walk over Charles Bridge. This view of Charles Bridge and the boats going past, is just unreal. I'm honestly like having the best day ever. Oh my gosh, there's a little event going on down here by the river. What the hell, this looks so cute. I found out from this sign after that this event was to celebrate the anniversary of Czech patron St. John of Nepomuk. And St. John was the patron of all people um, from water. So that's why it was by the water. There was boats, Czech food and really traditional music and dancing. Um, it was such a nice experience. You know, for this half travel, half food channel, I just had to go into that Czech cookie shop. How amazing. I really wanted to buy something, but restraint. I'm doing well, mother. I'm not eating everything. <laughs> um, I'm joking, by the way, guys. This is a travel channel. So one of my core memories from this bridge, I don't remember much from when I came to Prague last, but what I do remember, I came with my dad and granddad to visit family, because my nan's family live here. And um, this is Charles Bridge. And I got a, it wasn't actually a caricature, it was like a portrait um, drawn of me on this bridge. And it's at home and my nan has a copy in her flat on the wall. So it's like a special memory that we have here. Um, yeah, it's really, really beautiful. There's just like statues all across this bridge and I'm gonna show you. Prague's Charles Bridge is so famous because it was constructed in the 14th century and it was basically the only way that the people could cross the river until up to 1841. So it was really important to connect the Prague castle and then the old town and um, for people to be able to trade as well. On the bridge, you'll find 30 Baroque style statues and these depict the saints that are important to the city, including St. John of Nepomuk, who I just spoke about. If you visit this bridge, you might see a lot of people touching the statues or the dog and the knight statue because it's supposed to bring good luck. Anyway, this is the other side of Charles Bridge. I thought this church was so stunning. This is the church of St. Salvatore. And in this location, you have entered Prague's old town. 
So chimney cakes, which are like these things, they're super popular. I've seen so many chimney cake shop, shops and I really, really want one. Look, she's handing it. Oh my God, it looks so good. But um, it's close to dinner time, so I'm gonna wait and I think I'm gonna get one tomorrow instead. There's a duck booty. It's just all ducks. Can you see that? It's like flashing because of the camera. That is actually hilarious. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I'm walking, heading back to the old square. This is the old town. It's, as I've said a million times in this video, it's just unreal, beautiful, stunning, amazing. Just any positive word you could think of is this place. This is Prague's astronomical clock. It's another highly popular thing to see in Prague. It's attached to the old town hall and it was actually installed in 1410, which makes it the third oldest astronomical clock in the world and the oldest clock still in operation, which is super fascinating. Here's all the crowds of people that are surrounding the, the clock. You'll find huge crowds here when the clock strikes the hour because there's a little procession of the 12 apostles which come out of the clock, um, so people love to see that. I didn't think I would even be hungry tonight, but a lot of walking builds up an appetite. I want you guys to guess the cuisine that I've chosen for tonight. I'm having a refreshing Coke is really nice. It's just so refreshing after all my walking. Wow, that smells absolutely amazing. It's a pasta. That was what I always go for. If you guys have watched my videos, you know by now. And it's got sausage, tomato, veg, fennel. It looks amazing. And I'm like sat on the... Let me try and focus. On the street, enjoying the sun. I just had that amazing pasta, it was so tasty. And I'm heading back now to edit this vlog. Um, yeah, really recommend that place. I'll put the name of it if you're in Prague. Really nice Italian restaurant. Primarily they do pasta. Uh, they primarily do pizza, but I just fancy the pasta, so. The wind is flying my hair everywhere. <laughs> 